Welcome back to How I Makes Up guys, I'm here today with my lovely model Ellen and we're going to do a really nice way to kind of show you how to work the orange lip trend. So I'm going to do different ways of making it wearable to suit whichever way you would feel most comfortable with. So we've prepped Ellen's base with a little bit of Youth Liberator Foundation by YSL, I've used the shade B10. The concealer I've used on Ellen is Light One um, by NARS and that's the Radiant Creamy Concealer which is really really great. So we're going to go to the first look, I want to keep it so it's quite paired down with the eyes as well. So I'm just going to give the lashes a curl, put it down for me Ellen. So just curling the lashes, Ellen's got really lovely curly lashes anyway, so just turn that a bit for me. So this look is more about kind of, if you don't want to wear anything kind of too full on with the lip, I would use either a lip balm or a tinted balm. And two in particular that are really, really great is the Clinique Chubby Stick, which is in oversized orange, or the matte Colour Burst Lip Balm by Revlon, which is in Audacious. It's been a really, really popular one with the beauty bloggers recently. So I'm going to show you how this one looks on. So before I add some lip, I'm just going to do a tiny amount of mascara for this look, just so it's more about kind of a casual way to wear the orange lip. So I'm taking this uh, mascara by Max Factor, which is Excess Volume Extreme Impact Mascara. And it's got two ends, which is one that's kind of volume and one that's a dark lacquer. So I'm just going to take the volumizing shade and just look for me, look down. And I'm just going to paint that onto the lashes, but I'm going to leave the bottom lashes. So I think when you're wearing kind of any orange tone lipstick, you want to kind of avoid going with a harsh opposite colour blusher. So I'm going to use something that's kind of nods slightly towards the orange family, but isn't too obvious or too kind of full on. And this is Soft Copper, which is by Max Factor, which is the Miracle Touch Creamy Blush. And I'm just going to pop a tiny bit of this on Ellen's cheeks. To do that, I'm just going to use a little bit of um, this blusher with the Shuamura 18 Goat Brush. And I'm just going to apply that to the apples of Ellen's cheeks, but I'm going to do it quite faintly, like I said, I don't want it to be full on blusher, it's more just so there's a tiny bit of colour to the face. So you just want to roll this over the lips and you can use this kind of as your lip liner as well, which is good. And it's more kind of like a corally orange, which is nice. But even if you felt this was too strong when it first came out, just with your finger, you can just kind of blot it in a bit more. And just open for me, just with your finger, just kind of push that into the lip a bit more. Just with your lip brush, you can then just kind of fade that out at the edges a little bit. So just work from inside out. So that's the first way I'd wear this trend. That's more kind of a lip balm feel. Keep your hair nice and messy so it's more kind of dressed down and just some mascara. So look two, the next option I'm gonna give you is to add some mascara to the bottom lashes as well. So just taking the same brush again. You can use the smaller one under your bottom lash if you want to. And this time I'm gonna make the mascara a little bit fuller, a little bit more intense. And just really lacquer the lashes up. So you go a little bit more kind of chunky and messy looking. And this is maybe a way you could wear the trend if you wanted to have kind of the bright orange, but just the lip be the focus. So just to make it a bit more interesting, I'm going to take this purple liner that I used recently in a video. This is Black Violet, which is a kind of purple black color by Laura Mercier. And I'm just going to put this, just look up for me, just along the inside waterline. So it's not black, but it's just going to make the look, a little bit more edge to it. And because it's purple, it won't be ridiculously dark but it'll just give a different look to it and then from that for our second look as well I'm going to add a bit of lip gloss and I think lip gloss is a really nice way to wear the orange trend if the idea of something quite matte and opaque scares you I mean this one is by NARS and it's called Wonder and again you can build up build up the intensity so you can have it quite sheer or you can have it more full-on pigment and I'm just going to take that over the top of the one that we had from the first look. And I'm just gonna make the lips look really juicy. Okay. And just concentrate most of the gloss in the center of the lips. And that's your second look. So that's with your gloss. 
So the third way I'm going to recommend that you can wear the orange trend is going more with kind of a lipstick. So something like the Revlon Kiss Me Coral is a really, really beautiful shade. Clarins also do really lovely orange lips. So with the Revlon Kiss Me Coral, I think I'm going to use this one because it's quite a nice alternative shade of orange in a way that I think it would suit most skin tones and most ages as well. So just using a lip brush, I'm going to apply this onto the lips and I'm just using a Shuemura 7H Kalinsky lip brush which has got a really nice shape for making lip application really super easy. And open the lip. So using an art shop brush I'm just going to add a thin line of this Clinique. Um, this is their cream liner in true black. Just to kind of show you another way that you could wear this look. So just close me on a leaning, I'm just going to lift the lid and lean on top of the lashes, but right into the inner corner. And it's kind of a thin to medium thin line. And then open for me on it. Okay, so that's with your black liner on top, which just kind of balances out the look a little bit more. Um, and I think that's nice, especially if you're wearing something that's not necessarily full on bright tomato red. So the fourth and final way I'm going to show you to work the orange trend is full on, all out, bold colour. And for this I'm going to use a Kiko lip liner, which is Smart Pencil in 705, which is can be worn alone and makes a really nice lipstick colour. And on top I'm going to use a MAC Lip Mix, and this is an orange, which is super, super matte really flat looking and really amplifies the colour and makes it look really bold. So taking the lip liner by Kiko, this is in 705, I'm just going to start lining the lips and already you can see how amazing this colour is and how bold it is. But I'm just going to start lining the lips so I can make quite a strong shape as well. I'm just going to fill that in a little bit, I find if you fill in your lip liner it does help you see the shape you've created and how kind of even your liner is. And then just take your lip brush just blend it in a little bit just so you see the shape you're making and I'm just going slightly over the top line on the top lip so now going in with the lip mix by MAC in the bright bright orange you just want a little bit on the back of your hand or on a palette and a little of this goes a really long way and it's good because you won't really have to kind of touch it up again later so as soon as I put this on you will see how brilliantly bright an orange it is and it's very opaque as well so you get that kind of solid intensity of colour and I'm just putting this all over the lip and this is for the more brave orange wearer but I think again as long as the skin is clean that's what's important with this look so the lip can really stand out and open up hand. So this is full on orange, really bright, unafraid, unapologetic. And I think with this, you have two choices. You can say, I just keep the lip and go really full on with the lip. Um, but I think if you're gonna be this bold, you can go all the way and do a really kind of graphic liner as well, or quite a thick liner. So I'm showing you this now without, and I'm also gonna show you with a heavy liner to show you how when you've got one solid color, you can still kind of work with the monochrome of black and white, especially on the eyes, and it won't fight with the lip. So back to my Clinique gel liner in black and I'm using a Laura Mercier domed eyeliner brush for this. We're going to go really thick and intense with the eyeliner. So I'm taking a little bit on the, off on the back of my hand, so just close me on it. Um, I'm going to start working the product quite thick and I'm just going to see what shape I'm going to create once I've kind of got it all the way along the lash line. So I want it thinner on the inside corner still and just open for me Ellen. And then if you look straight ahead Ellen, I'm just going to give it quite a drastic sharp flick I think and I'm just going to follow where the eye already goes and keep your Muji combos to hand so if you want to make any kind of corrections as you go along and then close me Ellen and then I'm just going to follow that line back down again but keep it really graphic and I think that will work really nicely with the orange 
and again you want the black really thick. And you're literally doing it as if you're cutting a line through the eyes. So try not to curve the line too much. And then just neaten up on top with your brush. And close. So just making sure all along where the lash line is, is really solid with the black. And that your line's nice and neat. And last but not least, I'm just going to add a tiny bit of translucent powder. This is by NARS and this is their Sheer Crystal, Crystal Translucent. I'm just going to add a tiny dust of this just down the centre of the face. Just so that there's not anything kind of taking away from the boldness of the eye or the lip. So just a little bit in the middle of the face. So that's the finished look guys, hope that was helpful, hope you enjoyed watching that video, please subscribe to Harry Makes It Up and I look forward to doing more videos for you soon and leave in the comments um, what you would like to see next as well in terms of trend inspired videos, I'd love to know what you would like to see and thanks very much Ellen for modelling for me! Thank you! <laughs> Bye! <laughs>